In this video, we have this problem. It is given that A is the 2 by 2 matrix with entries minus 4, 2, 3, minus 8. The first part is to find the inverse matrix A. So A minus 1, the inverse matrix of A. We've uh, got to find the determinant of this matrix first. So the determinant of matrix A is going to be equal to minus 4 times minus 8 take away 2 times 3. So minus 4 times minus 8 is 32. And we're going to take away 6. And so we're going to have uh, 26. So the inverse matrix of A is going to be 1 over 26. And then the entries minus 4 and minus 8 switch around. So we get minus 8 and minus 4. And the 2 and the 3 change sign. OK, and so this is the inverse matrix of A. So part two, find the coordinates of P such that under the transformation represented by A, P is mapped to Q, which has coordinates minus 1, 3. So what we're saying then is that when we apply A to P, we get Q. So because I don't know what the coordinates of P are, what I can do is I can look at actually applying the inverse matrix to Q because that should, as it says on the tin, invert the process. So I should get back to where I started. I should get the coordinates of P. So I'm going to apply the inverse matrix of A to Q. OK, so if I leave the 1 over 26 where it is for the time being, and then I've got minus 8 minus 2 times by the minus 1, 3. So that would be 8 and then take away 6, so 2. Then I've got minus 8, sorry, I've got minus 3 minus 4 multiplying with minus 1, 3. So minus 3 times minus 1 is 3. And then take away 12, so 3 take away 12 is minus 9. OK, and so... If I bring the 1 over 26 in, I can say that so P has coordinates at 2 over 26, so 1 over 13. So I could bring that straight in, so 2 over 26 minus 9 over 26. That, of course, simplifies to 1 over 13. And that stays, doesn't it? Can't be simplified. And so these, uh, this is the coordinates of P, OK? So we applied the inverse matrix to Q to get ourselves back to the coordinates of P.